Hey, and well met friends, Andang here for another episode of the Epic Story as we begin to start Book 4 of Volume 1, and uh, Boromir has elf ears. I don't know if you guys have noticed this ever before, but this here is clearly an elf ear, and uh, this one is actually rounded. So, clearly, Boromir is half-elf, just so everyone knows, and uh, Aragorn hides his ears because he doesn't want anyone to know his origins so clearly these maps are very helpful I have no idea what they are of but you know they probably help Aragorn somehow all right let's go ahead and talk to him and start the next book welcome to Rivendell welcome to Rivendell where you will find the last homely house east of the sea Stapdang. The road to Imladris is not forgiving as it once was, and I commend you for your efforts. I hope the waters of the ford have calmed since our passage. We left them in turmoil. I fear the cause of these troubles is not yet concluded. Lord Elrond is master of the house here. He should be given news of your arrival. You will find him in his library on the upper floor of the last homely house to the northeast. All right. I shall go there, Aragorn, at once. To find the last homely house with Lord Elrond on the third floor, looking calmly at his books, trying to find answers to problems he doesn't really care about since he will be leaving and is leaving Middle-earth behind. Anyway, just a reminder that you can press Shift-L to display the deed log, where you can view completed deeds and the rewards that you can receive from those deeds. So, a very nice little tip there as we look at this waterfall somewhere in the Trollshaws. And it's a lot of fun to be starting out Book 4. It is uh, Book five is when things really start get going, but uh, book four is the lead into book five, obviously, and so there are some major points and moments that happen, so it should be uh, the best book so far. I'm definitely excited for it, and hopefully you guys are as well. All right, let us leave these petty guest rooms and make our way to the last homely house on our noble gray steed. Yes. The steam steed, indeed. All right. Let's continue along to the last homely house. All right, I love this valley. It really is one of the best places in all of Lotro. And the last homely house is placed perfectly in this environment. It's just amazing to see elven architecture used in such an amazing way. And that's what makes Rivendell be such a great city. And, uh, yeah, you really do feel like, especially the first time that you come here, you really do feel like that it's somewhere, <clears throat> somewhere that you can actually stay for a really long time. Um, just like Frodo and Sam do out of the books. And I don't want to run this guy over, so I'm going to go ahead and dismount. And follow him in here. And the statues are just fantastic throughout here. All sorts of great statues. Did it say anything on there? Nope. Because all the elves know what these statues mean, of course. But I, sadly, do not. Alright, let us go talk with Lord Elrond. In his beautiful library, they did such a great job with the inside of the last homely house, especially the Hall of Fire. I feel like that that place was done amazingly, and uh, the people you see there, which I'm not going to spoil until we do, it just makes it all worthwhile, and I love going to the Hall of Fire. Alright, and uh, the floor is very, very reflective in here. You can see it's almost like water, how reflective it is, but obviously, you know, with the tint of the floor. Very impressive, and I love this entryway. Just so amazing. Eh, elves, you know. They do amazing things with architecture. 
All right, let's continue along. More statues, really the same one, but we won't get into that. I believe. Yes, Elrond's library. Mm -hmm. And there, you see, I believe the fellowship entering in. All right. I never remember the stairs over here. Okay. A lot of people just drop down there, including myself most of the time, but the first time we can enter in the proper way. Now, see, they almost expect you to do that because Elrond has your back to you if you actually come in. Well, I guess you can come in from that side, too. Well, anyway. Let us talk, Elrond. Will you lend me your aid once more? The path you took to my doorstep has been perilous, Stafdang, and its dangers are all too common in these dark days. If you will consent to lend us your aid, it will not be the least of your challenges. Will you lend me your aid once Welcome more? Welcome to Mladris, Stafdang. Forgive me for not doing it before. It is good that you have come. Rest well. But not too deeply or too long. We have need of adventuring folk, for there is evil beyond the veil. Not more than two months ago, a hobbit by the name of Frodo Baggins and his companions were pursued to the ford of Bruninen by the servants of the enemy. I speak of the Nine Andang, the Nazgul. Fell creatures in the service of Sauron, and though the Brunin fell upon them at my command, we have found the steeds of only eight. One of the riders is unaccounted for. My sons sent forth the scouts bound to them by friendship to seek this missing rider. I ask that you speak with Eladan at the camp of Thorinhad. Among the Bruninin, gorges that lead and lend your aid to the search, we must learn where this Nazgul has gone, and most importantly, the Nazgul's designs. Where is the horse and the rider? That's more of a Rohan title, I believe. Anyway, let us continue along. Now, as much as I like to enter Elrond's library the right way, those stairs just take too long. And I'm a lore master, so, you know, not that big of a deal. All right, let's go talk with Eladan, whom I believe is not even in Imladris. Let's check here and see. Yes, he's all the way back over here at this steed place. All right. Well, we shall definitely make our way over to there. But first, let's take in Rivendell. Just such a beautiful place. Oh, that's that's great. Definitely amazing. At uh, I believe it is sunset. Yep. Such a pretty place. I really could stay here all day. But, sadly, we must leave this place of great beauty and go to find this Nazgul who is somewhere around in the Trollshaws, probably doing some terrible things that we'll have to stop in a later book. So that will be quite the task indeed. All right, we are nearly to Erlidin now. It's only a matter of time till we are here at his camp to inform him the news that Thorin had the missing Nazgul, of course. Megavanen. <laughs> All right, Megavanen indeed. I speak that as I'm a lawmaster. All right. Megavanen. My father has sent you to aid us. Well. It is good that you have come, for we have made an unsettling discovery. It seems likely that the missing rider is still somewhere within the wilderness of the troll shawls. Stay a moment. 
Mm, this is the fellowship one. Is so there two ones? No, there's not. That's not until later. Okay. Shortly after Frodo Waggins and his company came to Rivendell, my father sent us to search for signs of the Nazgul, the nine riders of the enemy. We found bodies of eight horses downstream, but of the last there was no sign. We searched further, but still found nothing. We traveled far afield, into the lands into the south, and still found no sign of the fleeing rider. Only on our return journey did we find something. Hoof prints in the south trollshaws. Far south of the road, there are many narrow valleys in that region. The Nazgul might lie there. Sheltered from prying eyes, waiting, waiting for his time to strike. Journey to the south of the road, in South Trollshaw's staff dang, and seek out the missing rider. The ruins within those narrow channels have a fell reputation. Minas Agor, the place was called of old, and the Nazgul may have sought it out for that reason. This quest is meant to be completed while grouped, but can be attempted solo. The stone you receive upon bestowal can be used for a short-term buff that will enable you to benefit from the inspiration buff while in a fellowship smaller than five. But if you are five or more, then you do not get the buff and shall not have the Elven Stone's protection. Under any circumstances. Oh, that's a bear den. Why did I come down here? Okay. Very careful. There's lots of bears around here. Need to stay away from all of them. Else, defeat could be close. Alright. Let's head across the river. Oh, it's all the way over there. Well, we shall head back in that direction. I forgot that that's where we begin the search for the missing Nazgul. And I love this storyline because in the books, you're, you know, they brush him away from the river, but it's so possible that one of the Nazguls could have somehow, maybe, possibly um, survived this and been able to actually go into these places and uh, stir up evil. And I love the concept of that, and it makes the situation in Ariador seem much more dire and that is just awesome. I love the fact that they took something that was plausible and made it into developed it in such a way that it is very very likely that something like this could happen and uh, that's just something I really like about Lotro and it allows for these great stories that aren't told by anyone else because Turbine kinda sort of made them up by stretching some of the truths and making it into their own story. And I think that's probably one of the biggest strengths, especially early on, of uh, Lotro. Alright. We are nearly there now. Kind of. To see this Nazgul's uh, 33. I doubt he is doing what I'm doing, but we shall see, shall we not? Where are you going? Hairball. Hey, Hairball, I got an idea. Why don't you attack that one? Hmm? Yeah, why don't you go attack that one? There you go. Yeah, just prance up behind him. <laughs> and one-shot him. That's great. Good job, Hairball. Alright. Let's see, we got a buck. What else do we have? Oh, yes. Just attack him as well. That's great. Alright. What about this one, Hairball? <laughs> yes. Staff Striker Tower. There we go. Strength swells within your chest. Here is a place where you can draw upon inspiration. Yes, well, I shall draw upon it. Most certainly. Alright, let's actually um, invite this dude. And continue along into Minas Agor. And hopefully we'll find... What fell things await us? Hmm. 
<laughs> you stand no chance, troll. For we are the warden law master team. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Alright. Nearly got him, nearly got him. Yes. So we have to find a sign of the missing Nazgul. Oop. Great job, hairball. Great job. Whoa, buddy. Need to calm down. <laughs> yes, hairball shall be dead soon, which is not a good thing, actually. But no matter. Surely our warden friend can handle it. Very good, very good. All right. Let's summon hairball once more. Take out this final one. Hopefully, final one. He stands no chance either way. Alright. Okay, maybe there's a few more, but no thing too terrible. Alright, let's do a little bit of damage there. Let's get this other guy's attention. There we go. Good job. Oh, this is the tough part. This is the tough part. Alright, let's try to get him a little bit close together. There we go, very good. And lightning of fun. <laughs> yes, you're dead. Alright. And let's do a little bit of a lightning strike there. Hey, buddy. Nice to meet you. But, uh, as fun as speed dating trolls is, I think I'd rather have you dead. Because, uh, you're scary. Alright, thank you, buddy. Alright. Hey! That was not nice at all, troll. He is leading us into the enemy party. Oh, no. Well, Hellerball should be able to help. This Warden is not taking any damage. Hats off to him, he's only a 33. I don't know how he's able to be standing so well. But he is. Flies buzz around the corpse of a Black Rider's horse. Yes. Collected bridle of the black steed. Oh no. Here comes a cargo searcher. You know what? As fun as it would be to bring back the bridle, I do want to venture forth if this guy's willing. Eh well. If not, let's just leave. Let's just get out of here. Alright. See what's in this general direction. Hopefully it is the way out, yes. Time to mount up with our friend and hopefully ride straight through. Don't, don't hurt me, please. Don't hurt me. Are we going to make it out? I hope so. Alright. Nearly there. Just a dark claw here. Nothing major. Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of the Epic Stories. We have started out uh, book four of volume one, and it is quite the uh, start to the story. We already saw a bunch of cargoal and trolls. We already um, are looking for the Black Rider. We found his steed, but there was no sign of the Black Rider himself. And now we're carrying his saddle, which is 
probably poisoned. It's probably a poisoned saddle, but that's perfectly fine. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode as we make our way through this uh, great zone, the Troll Shaws, uh, as we uh, make our way through here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode. PVMP and dang, subscribe.